chances are you've probably used one of these analog refractometers at some point while working in a machine shop. You know, where you're putting your coolant sample here, flipping that shut, and holding it up to light, hoping you're gonna be able to see your bricks reading. Let me make your life a little bit easier. Have you ever used a digital refractometer instead? Before we get started, you're gonna make sure that you calibrate this by using the same water that you're gonna be mixing your coolant with. Since my machine has been running all day, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sample straight from the sump. We're measuring at 11.3. Now that is our bricks reading. That is not the concentration percentage. We have to do a little bit of math right now. Every coolant has a different refractive index. For the coolant we're using here at the school, it is at a 1.5. So to calculate your concentration percentage, we're gonna take that 1.5 times the bricks reading we got, which was 11.3. And we would get, 16.95 as our concentration percentage. And if I remember correctly, the ideal machining concentration for this coolant was between 4% and 12%, meaning we're a little bit too high. We need to add some water and bring it back down. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little demo. Get yourself one of these. It's safer, it's faster, and honestly, it's kind of fun. Catch you next time.